Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Makakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And I say Shalom to you, Akim, out there. And this is a sit down lesson on this uh, February the 6th, 2022, uh, on Saturday afternoon. <clears throat> Bring got this uh, recent article right here. And this is from RT.com. And it's, uh, this was recent breaking news. Uh, from uh, February 6, 2021, uh, World News from RT.com. And the highlight of this news article, and it says, Canadian capital declares state of emergency over freedom convoy. Ottawa, Canada mayor calls emergency due to ongoing trucker convoy protests. And it, uh, Ottawa Mayor Jim Watson has declared a state of emergency citing serious, dangerous, uh, and threat to the safety and security of residents as freedom convey. Truckers and their pedestrian supporters continue to occupy the capital. The more I mean, the move comes from at the Watson limited lemonade <clears throat> early on Sunday that police have been outnumbered by the demonstrators and indicated he wants the federal government to help squash the protest. The situation at this point is completely out of control because of, I mean, because the individuals with the protests are calling the shots. Watson told News Talk Radio that they have more people than have the police officers and I indicated to the chief that we have to be more nimble and proactive when it comes to these activities. Right, this is uh, from a Twitter post. Somebody posted right here. The court meet their opt if I pronounce that right. It says the Ottawa Mayor Joe Watson declares state of emergency and demonstrators continue citing serious dangers and threat to the safety and security uh, security of residents. It says before announcing the emergency Watson plans with the federal government to sit down and have some kind of discussion, some kind of meditation to get this situation resolved because it is now spreading across the country. It says uh, Watson's statement encode a admission police officer Chief Peter Sawley on Saturday. We do not have significant resources to adequately uh, effectively address this situation while adequately uh, and effectively providing policy, policing in this city. The top cop says during a meeting with Ottawa Police Service Board referring to the demonstration as a siege. He insists it was something that it is different in our democracy than something I have ever experienced in my life. Continuing on with the reading, while Soli has repeatedly claimed all the options are on the table, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau last week ruled out deployment of military acknowledging that such a response should be a matter of last resort. The protesters have uh, promised to hold the line until the government repeals its warders mandate in a QR code health passports.
<clears throat> and it says some 5,000 people and 1,000 vehicles descended on downtown Iowa. Ottawa on Saturday joined the multitude already present on the 10th day of the ongoing demonstrations. A small counter protest took place at the city hall. And the police uh, boasted 450 tickets has been issued in the red zone uh, around the plenary mint hill since Saturday morning. Though most were minor infractions such as obstructed license plate, seat belt violation, fireworks, or cell phone usage, the Audible Police Service is also investigating alleged threats to the public. Whopping call to its hate crime hotline, though they did reveal the target of the hate. Uh, Truden and his allies have attempted to <coughs> mer marginalize the truckers and their support as a fringe of e the e word group a. Senior member of the liberal government described the ease which the truckers shut down the capital as a national humiliation. The protest has largely refrained from the violence and has stopped it solely and other opponents on the convoy from invoking supposed insurrection. Uh, capital of January 6. Authorities have placed heavy barricades as key points throughout downtown and closed roads in a efforts to keep out endless uh, parade of trucks. Attempting to divert trucks of Iowa Baseball Stadium to keep them out of downtown appears to have backfired with the stadium turning into a stage area for the demonstrators with uh, Cy Yunus and reportedly every bounce castle for protesters, children along with the refueling station and other supplies. It says organi organizers have uh, indicated they have stayed in Iowa for the long haul seeking donations from supporters to cover the cost of fuel, food, and logging. After fundraisers, uh, GoFundMe froze seven million donations. They regroup on a Christian competitor, give, give, send, and go, overloading the platform service as support rush to plead their money once more. While Ontario has refused to buzz the, regardless of the code word, nineteen restrictions the providence of Quebec and Castellon if I pronounce the right have already rolled back some of their stricter measures with um, Alberta announcing a vote to lift the M dates with be held this week so you know that goes back into the uh, uh, they should not regard their kings nor their princes and upwards of the people with these protests and you know this protest been going on for a while now so you know Canadian capital you know he uh, Iowa, Ottawa Canada mayor you know he de declared of a state of emergency and you know he said this uh, protest is is not gonna stop anytime soon. So you know, with this uh, trucker situation going on, you know, and they rebelling against the uh, water mandates, you know, and many other freedoms as well too, you know. <clears throat> so you know they uh, uh rebelling against it, you know. And I'm bring out the scriptures for that.
Uh, let's see. Okay, here we go. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 6. For there shall be sedition among men, invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor their princes, and the courses of their actions shall stand in their power. Right. Just like the mayor declared the, uh, the Iowa mayor of uh, Canada, you know, he declared a uh, state of emergency. Because he, he looking at the situation, the current situation right now with the uh, truckers protests. You know, they rebelling against the water mandates and other uh, restrictions, restrictions that's going on as well, too. You know, <clears throat> so, you know, they rebelling against that. You know, they, they want their freedom, you know, and they're fighting for their freedom. And they'll do whatever it takes, you know, to fight for their freedom. And that's what you're seeing right now. Now, you got a lot of people oppose this thing. That's what's going on, you know. I seen a, a, a short clip video, I believe it was the day before yesterday. And, you know, they was talking to one of the uh, citizens. You know, a lot of them kind of opposed them doing the little freedom thing. So, you got a little division with that as well, too. So, you know, a lot of people don't certainly agree with the people that's out there doing this uh, protest near the downtown area over there, which they trying to take over, you know, the, uh, the citizens as protesters. And then you got the little division between the uh, people that are against it and then the people that are pro with it, with these uh, pro truckers. You got the anti-pro truckers freedom thing, and then you got the ones that's pro truckers uh, freedom thing as well too. So you got that division with that as well too. And then you got the ones that's doing the protests, you know, that's filling up the towns in downtown, the downtown Iowa, Canada area where they're doing the protests and stuff at. So, you know, they're rebelling against the, uh, the political leaders, their political figures, and, the, you know, of, of that respectable country, you know. And you're seeing that right now with this current situation with the uh, truckers over there in uh, Canada, you know. And you're seeing that around the world as well, too. You know, there's a lot of people, it's uproars of the people that's rebelling against this uh, water mandates, this code word 19, you know. And they against the mandates, against the water mandates, against the uh, water mandates of these passport codes and stuff like that, you know. So, you know, they rebelling against that, and you're seeing that right now, you know. And expect to see more like this you know, uh, currently around the world as well, too. This like for the Yellow Vesters over there in uh, Paris, France. You know, they rebelling against the, uh, rebelling against the uh, political leaders and the figures over there. You know, they don't agree with certain type of uh, laws and regulations and stuff like that. So, you know, they rebelling against it. They going against it, you know. So, you know, that's all I wanted to bring out. So, you know, expect to see more things to uh, happen like this. You know, they should not regard nor their kings, nor their princes, these political leaders and these political figures in these respectable countries, you know. And a lot of people fighting for their freedom. And, you know, they rebelling against these certain current laws and these restrictions of laws that the people don't agree with, you know. And that's what, you was, that's what you're seeing what's going on right now, you know. And so with that, I hope this was edifying. Through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, and great millstone, pushing this word truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akin, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, Shalom to the Akin, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching this word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. Until next time, I will say Shalom before I close out this uh, lesson on this February the 6th, 2022, on this Sunday afternoon. So, you know, expect to see more of uh, people rebelling against the uh, water mandates. 
You know, they should not regard their kings nor their princes or their political leaders or figures in these uh, respectable countries. And you've been seeing like protests around the world, protests in Canada and many other places as well, too, you know. So expect to see more things like this to increase in the last days that we are living in currently, according to uh, biblical prophecies, according to the Holy Scriptures. And so with that, I will say Shalom.